Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. It is time for yet another segment of my makeup collection and declutter series. In this particular video, I'm going to be going over my bullet lipsticks, my lip glosses, and my lip liners. I didn't have enough of each of those that I felt like it made sense to give them their own video, so I just lumped all of these together. My liquid lipstick should already be up on my channel. If not, it'll be soon. That one I did do by itself because I had a lot. Before we hop into the collection and declutter, I did film this look, of course. It should already be up on my my IGTV by the time this video goes up. My plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. This choker is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my code BUTBEAN to save 10%. That is an affiliate code just so you're aware. And this necklace is from Ana Luisa. As usual, please don't get offended if I declutter your favorite lip product. I'm very glad it works for you. It just might not be my perfect lip product anymore. Also, please don't ask me to send you anything. I'm very weird about giving used makeup to people I don't know, especially when it comes to lip products. Only my very, very close friends and family are getting dibs on those. And also, please don't feel pressured to declutter your collection. If that's not what you feel like you need to do for you, it's just what I need to do for me. Anyways, let's just hop into it. We have 121 total things to go through, so just sit back, grab a snack. Let's go over some gloss, lipstick, and lip pencils. All right, let's get into these glosses, shall we? I have 75 here in front of me. I want to dwindle this down by a good chunk. Um, hoping to get under 50. <laughs> That's my goal. So let's just see what we can do and go from there. Let me just start with this random apocalyptic beauty one called Snow Glare. I kept this around from last declutter and I don't think I've worn it once. I might have a little bit of staining on my hand. I filmed my liquid lipstick one right before this, so... <laughs> There's that, and it's it's pretty. It has a nice shift to it, but I just don't reach for this lip gloss, so I'm gonna pass it. I have these two Kush lip glazes from Milk Makeup. There's this pink one called Rosebud and this more neutral one called Nova. I do like Nova. I wanna keep this one. It's kind of a cute neutral color. I'm gonna pass Rosebud along though because I think I've only worn it once, and it's just not my favorite thing in the world. I like the formula of these. They're very comfortable, but when I wear these, I don't really want the pink one, if that makes sense. My three glosses from Sugar Pill, I'm definitely keeping. Bloom and Flicker are some of my favorite glosses in my whole collection. Bloom is right there. Both of these are very slippy feeling. They're so comfortable. Flicker is right there. It has just the prettiest little sparkle in it. I love it. Crystal Trinket right here is also beautiful. It's not quite as slippy as the other two. I feel like it's a little bit thicker, but it's still beautiful. And I love Trinket so much. And unfortunately, I don't have that liquid lipstick anymore because I finished it. So this is the closest I'll get. I have these two new ones from Musée Beauty. We have Cassette and Kezanine. I am totally butchering the names of these, but... They're the two new ones. There's only two on the site. You can use my code BUTBEAN to save 10% off. This one's kind of like just a clear essentially. It has a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's not completely clear. I don't really know how to describe it. It's really pretty though. This one's just kind of a pinky neutral. I really like both of these. It's a little bit of a thicker gloss, but I still find it to be pretty comfortable. Let's go over my Dose of Colors ones now. This is called The Most. It's such a pretty like sheer gloss with sparkle in it. It kind of has like pinky sparkles in it. I don't know if all the sparkles are going to capture on camera, but regardless, I love this gloss and I'm keeping it. This next one's over the top, which has been one of my favorites for the longest time, but it's no longer available. It's sheer with like golden sparkles in it. It's so pretty. I gave you the tiniest swatch because I'm not trying to use up the rest of this one. Oh, my goals one, the wand is broken. Um, I guess I should just declutter this one then. I only have a little bit of product left. I can actually see through the tube pretty well. I guess that answers that. I guess I'll declutter goals. It was a really pretty one though. I liked that one. This one's called Jazzy. It's a little bit more of like a, I don't know, like warm peachy color. It has sparkle in it. I don't think peachy is the right word. It's just pretty. I like it. And this last one's called Happy Hour. It's a pink and it has a little bit of like more of a creaminess to it, not so much a sparkle. I feel like it's really similar to that Musée Beauty one. Musée Beauty one's a little bit warmer. I'll keep this one. Why not? <laughs> I'm doing so fabulous with this declutter so far. Next are all of my Lucid Lip Glosses from Kaleidos Makeup. I'm keeping all these because I just absolutely adore this formula. This first one's called Hypnotize. This is a very slippy formula as well. I find it to be so comfortable and I love the sparkle that's in it. So pretty, look at that shift. Such a pretty like warm pink. This one's called Fantasize. It's more of like a peachy color. Again, it's sheer with sparkle, so it's not gonna be crazy opaque color, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This one here is called Dramatize. It's like a really pretty, kind of warm, almost corally orangey, pinkish kind of color. It's really, really cute. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's called Crystallize. It has this pretty like bluey purple shift running through it. 
hope the camera is able to capture even slightly any of what's going on with that. And this last one is called Mesmerize. This one is a creamy finish. It's not so much of a sparkle. It's really pretty though. It's a nice like kind of mauve plummy kind of situation. Super, super cute. Love this one. I'm keeping all these. I have some pixie ones here now. This first one is the Petal Ice Lift, Lip Lift Max. Can't speak. This one's just a clear plumping gloss. I'm not going to keep this one because I like the So Juicy plumping gloss better and I have that in a clear, so I'm going to pass along the pixie one. This next one's called Sorbet and I actually want to put it over here so I can kind of compare. I feel like I have a similar vibe with the Kaleidos and with uh, the Sugar Pill one that I don't really need this one as well, so I'm going to pass this one along. I really like this gloss formula from Pixie though. It's very slippy and comfortable. This one's called Sweet Nectar. It looks like it's just a peachy color. I don't feel like I need this one. I feel like I have other peaches that I kind of like a little bit more than this one. So I'm gonna pass this one along. This one's called Cake. This is the first one I ever got a few years ago. I feel like I don't need this one because of my over the top gloss and my sugar pill flicker gloss. It's not completely the same as those, but I just don't think I need this one anymore. This one I think I'm gonna keep though. It's called Parfait. I don't think it's available anymore, but it's so pretty. It's just this really nice kind of pinky mint kind of shift in it. I don't. I don't think at all that that's going to show on camera, but it's super pretty and I'm going to keep that one. Let me try to do a better swatch for you. Oh, there we go. So pretty. I love that one. Next, I have five ABH glosses. I'm not really talking about ABH on my channel right now. I've mentioned that on a couple declutters so far. I just have a few of the products left. They've just been doing some things as a brand that I don't really agree with. Um, I would recommend checking out Donnie Darkowitz on uh, Instagram from back in June. She posted some screenshots that just really like put the brand on a... I don't really want to use list for me. Um, I'm not really going to keep any of these. One, I haven't reached for them in a very, very long time, so that says something, but also I don't really do my makeup off camera too often, so I'd rather just give these to a friend who might get more use out of them than I will, so there goes those. I have these two wet cherry glosses from Lime Crime. This one is called Naked Cherry. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a pinky neutral. It's really pretty. I really like this formula. It's very creamy and comfortable, and this one's called Flaming Cherry. It's kind of a fun, corally orange situation. So I'm gonna keep both of these, I like them a lot. These, however, these are Diamond Crusher. They're like lip toppers. They're basically just like glitter. They don't feel glossy, they just feel glittery on the lips. I used to use these way back in the day to like pop in the center of my lipstick to add a little flash. If I ever feel like doing that now, it's easier just to use a shadow. I never reach for these, so I'm gonna pass them along. This big one is called Summer, this little one is called Dope, and this one's called Cleopatra. So I don't use these, I'm gonna pass them along. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go over ColourPop now because I have quite a few to go through. I have three of the So Juicy glosses that I am gonna keep. This one's clear, so I'm not gonna swatch it. It's called Princess Cut. And then I have these two called Stuntin' and Cutie. I really like these glosses. I love a plumping gloss. I really like the tube format. It reminds me of those OG like Victoria's Secret glosses. <laughs> so funny but they're super cute this one's just kind of like a pale pinky color and QT I think this was my first so juicy gloss ever this one's just more of like a I don't know it's kind of a creamy color it's not quite clear it's just like a creamy gloss I don't know how else to explain it other than that I have three of these little ones I feel like I had four I don't know where the fourth one went it must have disappeared into another dimension um, but I have the hype small talk and she's here I'm gonna keep all of these as well I feel like the So Juicy glosses just kind of look like what they look like in the tube, so I'm not gonna swatch all these. I feel like that's kind of a waste of time, but I'm gonna keep these as well. I also like the fact that they're tiny. I have this ColourPop Land Roller Gloss. This is a clear gloss. I love this for the fact that it's like a roller ball. I think that's so stinking cute. However, I have other clear glosses. This is never gonna be the first one I reach for, so I'm gonna pass this one along. I have three of the Lux glosses. I really like this formula. This shade is called Renaissance. I just got this like a week ago from them. It's just like a sheer with sparkle neutral kind of color. It's really pretty. These two are from the Making Mauves collection. This first one is called Figgy With It. <laughs> I think it was from that collection, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it's just kind of like a mauve -y, creamy gloss. I like this one a lot. And this one is called Check In. It's very similar. So maybe I don't need both. Hmm. Actually, between the two, I think I like check in a little bit more, so I'm going to keep check in, but I'll pass along Figgy with it because I really don't feel like I need both. At the end of the day, glosses are so similar when they're more sheer like this, so I don't need both. I have five of these Luxe Lip Oils. I really like this formula. It's so comfortable and just conditioning, and it feels so soothing. However, most of these look pretty much the same on the lips, so I don't need to keep most of these. I do like this Hot Shot one. I don't know. There's something about it that I like. 
I like the warmth that it has underneath it. So I think I'll keep this one. And I think I'll keep this very, very pale one called Skinny Dip. Oh, this one's like stained with lip product. Why did I do that? Um, well, I think I ruined this one because it's green now. That's gross. Uh, let me swatch Playa Vista to see if I need to keep that one instead of the other one. Yeah, see, they look pretty much the same, except I feel like maybe I like Playa Vista more. It doesn't really matter. I'll keep Hot Shot, pass that one along. I will keep the clear one just because aside from this, I only have the So Juicy one. And on the occasion that I want a clear gloss that isn't plumping, and even though this isn't really a gloss, it's a lip oil, I'm gonna use this one. And then this one's called Bangle. See, it looks just so, like they're so similar. I don't need both. I can't believe I ruined that one. I don't even know what I put over top of it. I don't usually do that. Who even knows? Now I have some ultra glossy lips. This one is called Rattler. I love this one. I use this one like a crazy person. It's such a pretty cool tone neutral. I love it. I don't love the applicator of these, but I do like the formula that's on the inside. I don't like it as much as the So Juicy or the Luxe glosses, but I do still like it. And this one's called Queen Cobra. I wear both of these so often. They're both from the That's Taupe collection. I love them so much. I know my swatches are really bad. I'm sorry. This is an old one called Double Agent. I don't feel like I need to keep this one because I never reach for it. And I feel like I can get a similar effect with that pinkiness with Bloom from Sugar Pill. So I'm gonna pass that one along. This one's called Cozumel from the Shook to the Coral collection, I think is what it was called. Something about coral. It's just like a very light shade. I really don't need this one because it's just so sheer and I have so many other similar things. And same with this Molokini one. It looks pretty much the same as the one I just showed you and it's just so sheer and unassuming and I just don't need it because I've kept other unassuming shades. And I kind of feel the same way about these Sailor Moon ones. Um, we have the Sailor Moon one and also Moon Tiara. These are very similar to what I just swatched. Like they pretty much look identical to each other and that, um, they're just very sheer. These do have sparkle in them, but these aren't special enough for me to keep around. So I'll pass these along to a friend as well. I feel like I'm actually doing really good with this declutter now that I'm getting about close to the end of it. I think I'm doing okay. I have all these buxom ones that I wanna keep. I really like the plumping gloss formula. I actually just picked these up maybe a month ago as I'm filming this in early November. It was part of a holiday set and I just really like this formula. Um, this one's called White Russian. It's very old, like very old. I think I'm gonna toss this one in the garbage. I've probably had this White Russian one for like four plus years. So this one, it's, it's time for it to die, but I'm gonna keep these other ones. They are sugar right here. White Russian, okay, well, that justifies getting rid of the White Russian one. Um, Melanie and also Hot Toddy. I really like all of these, they're very plumping. Two of them are shimmery, two are just creamy, and I'm gonna keep them all. We're getting to the home stretch, this is all we have left. These are just kind of my miscellaneous ones. Um, Fenty Glow, a classic, I'm gonna keep this one. I really want more of the Fenty glosses, I just haven't gotten around to picking any up. This is the Candy Stick Ulta brand Plumped Up Pout Lip Gloss. These are so plumping, this is for sure my most painful lip gloss. And I love it. It's so shiny and plumping. I want more shades badly. This one from Tower 28 is called Magic. This is probably my favorite gloss in my collection currently. I love that it has that golden sparkle. It's kind of replaced that over the top one for me, thank goodness, since that one's not available anymore. But it's so slidey and hydrating. It feels so good. I love this one. I wouldn't mind having more shades of this formula as well. This one's from Glossier. It's called Holographic. It's not like the best gloss in the world, but I think it's cute and I'll keep it around. I'll keep using it. It's just sheer with sparkle. Sheer with sparkle is my kind of gloss for sure. Out of the ones that I have left, this one from e.l.f., the plumping gloss called Mocha Twist, I'm for sure keeping. It's a really pretty just warm neutral kind of color. I really like the plumping effect of this one as well. However, I think everything else I'm gonna pass along. I have three random glosses from the brand Loritzi that I've had for years. I have this random Galactic one called Lustrous that I actually saved from the declutter last year but I don't think I've worn it even once this year and I really don't need it because I have very similar ones like on my same hand. So don't need this one. This is a new one from Estico, which is Midas Cosmetics sister company in collaboration with It's Me, Kristen B. This came in my Estico lash box and it's a really pretty gloss. I just don't feel like I need it since I have some other ones that are a similar tone. So I'm gonna pass this one along. I have this old Luna lip topper from Black Moon. It kind of is similar to those diamond crushers I was talking about from Lime Crime where it's just kind of sparkly. It's not really glossy and it's just not something I reach for. So it's gonna go. This is from the brand Kaylee Cosmetics called Coconut. It's just not really my color, not my favorite formula. It's not horrible, but it's not great. This is the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in Petal Pink. 
just again not really my kind of color I don't really wear baby pinks like that this is the elf dewy berry lip stain of some sort I'm not really sure what this is but I'm not gonna keep this one and then this random cloven hollow like clicky pen kind of situation it's like a lip glaze not really my favorite thing so I'm gonna pass this one as well so if I count it correctly I started with 75 glosses I was able to declutter 35 of them so that means I have 40 left I think I did pretty good I got rid of like half of them so that's nice I feel like it's more curated I have a better idea of what I actually own and now let's move on to bullet lipsticks and lip pencils all right it's lipstick time I have 23 here um I don't know how many I'm gonna get rid of I feel like I want to get rid of a good chunk because I truly just don't reach for bullet lipsticks or just like things that aren't a liquid lipstick or a gloss very often so that's what's here I have a couple bombs as well because I wasn't really sure where else to put those in this uh, makeup collection and declutter series. So this is what I have 23 to start. Let's go over these sugar pill ones first. This first one's called patrol. I actually love this one. It's a really nice creamy sparkly red bullet lipstick and this doesn't seem like something I would love but I freaking love this especially for holiday time. It's so cute. This one's called cubby and I liked it for a while but I feel like I have liquid lipsticks and glosses that are a similar tone that I just don't need this one anymore so I'm gonna pass this one. And this one's called hydro. This one is so much fun. Oh my gosh. And I don't even have like a liquid lipstick quite this color. It's so sparkly and like mermaid-esque. I'm gonna keep this one just because of how unique it is. I have this milk makeup lipstick called wavy. It's like a brown. I feel like I like this and the formula is so creamy. I just don't reach for bullet lipsticks very much. So I'm gonna give this one to a new home. Again, like I said before with ABH, I'm not really talking about them. I don't do my makeup off camera too often. And even when I do, I usually wear like a basic gloss. It's nothing crazy. So I'm gonna pass along these two lipsticks in Rouge and Spice. I got sent this one from Urban Decay. It's the Moon Dust one called Rising. And it's a pretty color and I like the concept of it. However, when I want to wear like sparkle on my lips like this, I'm more likely to reach for a gloss, not really something like this. So I'm gonna pass it along. I didn't have any like issues with it though. It's just not perfectly for me. This one's from Beauty Bakery called Peanut Butter Luster. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is so creamy and pretty. I think I might keep this one as an attempt to try to use it because that's beautiful. And I love how like teeny tiny and puny and compact that is. This one's from OMFG Cosmetics. It's called Naked. It's just like a, oh, it's falling apart. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take that as a sign and just declutter this one. It's falling apart on me, so goodbye. This one's from Dose of Colors called Aftermath. This was also part of that Desi and Katie collaboration. Oh, it's just such a pretty color. I'm gonna keep this one as well. I just can't get over that color. All that's left now is ColourPop. I have this random lippy stick um, called Little Things. Is that what it's called? little tings. Oh my goodness. Um, I like this in theory. Like I like the formula. It's just not really a color I'm wearing right now and haven't really been over the last year. So I'm going to pass this one along. I did like this formula a lot though. I have three of the Justa Tints and I think I'm going to keep two of these. I don't know which ones yet though. <laughs> this one's called Cutie Fruity. Really like this one. Just kind of a burnt reddish color. These are so comfortable and creamy. This one's called The Strand. This one's more of like a pinky color. This one's kind of like a My Lips But Better. I think I will pass this one along though because I have glosses that are like a My Lips But Better that I reach for more often. And this one is called Gimme S'more, more of a neutral. Really like these. I'll keep these two. This one's from the Hocus Pocus collab. It's called Mary. I like this one in theory. I really like the Luxe lipstick formula, but... I have that sparkly red, and besides that, I'm more likely to reach for a liquid lipstick, so I'm gonna pass this one along to a friend. These glowing lip balms from the ColourPop Land collection were super cute. They're all very sheer, so I'm not gonna swatch them because they all just look like pinky sheer on the skin. It's nothing revolutionary. I did like these, however, when I'm looking for a lip balm now, I have other things that I prefer, like the Milk Makeup one. I have some from NYX, I have some from e.l.f. These aren't the first ones I reach for, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass these ones along. And now we just have some more Lux lipsticks. Let's figure out what I want to keep. This one's called What's Your Sign? This was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Oh, I just love how creamy these are. I want to keep that one. Can you tell I love brown tone neutrals? <laughs> this one's called Tiptoe. A little bit pinkier, but still neutral. I don't think I need this one though. I don't, it doesn't make my heart sing as much. This one's called Name Drop. See, in comparison, this one sings to me more, but I also kind of like this one because I don't have a bullet lipstick that I'm keeping in this kind of pinky color. I might keep this one. It's cute. This one is called Big Break. It's a little bit mauve -ier. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> I love how creamy these are. And this one's called La Lady. Oh, it's like a brown. Ugh. 
I don't need to keep this one because it's so similar to that. I'll pass this one along as well. <laughs> okay, this part of the declutter I did really well on. I started out with 23, I decluttered 14, and I'm keeping nine. So that's pretty good. I got rid of a good chunk of them. I feel like these are ones that I might actually use, and now that I know exactly what I have, I'll be more likely to reach for it. Let's move on to lip pencils now. All right, finishing up now with lip liners. Why do I have 23 lip liners? I only just decided like a month or so ago at the moment of filming this that I like lip liners, and I thought I had less than 10. I have 23, apparently. I have some very old ones that I guess I was just hanging on to in case I ever decided I like lip liners. Um, I mean, I guess, thank you very much, Past Betty Jean, because now I have some lip liners to go through. And it's funny because someone commented on my video today that I posted. By the time this video is going up, it, it'll be a really, really old video by now, like a month old. But someone was just telling me that the next suede lip liners are like their favorite thing and I have four of them so that's really cool so I need to just go through and swatch these and figure out what I'm keeping I'm for sure keeping these five from Musée Beauty they don't have the names written on the pencil itself so I don't know the name offhand but they only have these five and again like I said before you can use my code butte bean if you're interested but I really like these pencils especially this light brown one I guess let me go through and just do a little swatch of all of them just so we can see them laid out I really like all of these pencils here we go Got it all laid out for you, my friends. So good. So these will be kept. I also know for sure that I'm keeping these two from ColourPop because these are the ones that kind of helped me realize that I enjoy lip liner. This one's called Ashton and the other one's called Cool BFF. I use both of these constantly. These two and that light brown one from Musée Beauty, I use these three all the time right now. They're so pretty. The other ColourPop one I have is from the Hocus Pocus collection. This one's called Spinster Ladies. It's a red. I have a couple other reds here, so I figured we would compare them. This one's from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the shade Outlaw. Let's see what that red looks like. Okay, that one's a bit brighter of a red. And I have this random old NYX one called Sienna. Oh, they're all very different as far as shades of red. I definitely don't need all three of these though. I think I'm going to keep just the ColourPop and KVD Vegan Beauty one because they're the most different. I feel like I can get a similar effect by mixing maybe a brown with a red to get that one. So I'm going to pass along the NYX one and keep these two. I have this old BH Cosmetics one. Ew, and it's so like dead. This is probably like five years old. Why do I still have this? This one's garbage. Let's go over my other two KVD Vegan Beauty ones. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping both of these. This one's called Hawkwind. Oh, that's a pretty color. I like that color a lot. That one's staying. And this one's in the shade Lolita too. These pencils are so creamy, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep both of those. These swatches don't look impressive. I just wasn't building them up as much. I just did little quick ones and these in particular are so insanely creamy. That's where we're at so far. Now I have these NYX ones. I wanna look at these suede ones first since someone told me they're so good. This one's called Soft Spoken. I feel like these might not be super good because I probably got these like three plus years ago. I don't feel like I need Soft Spoken. It's very similar to the Lolita 2 one I just swatched. So I'll pass this one. This one's called Cherry Skies. Kind of like a pinky color. I don't feel like I need that one also just because of like Musée Beauty ones I'm keeping. I'll pass this one. That one felt a lot creamier though. This one here is called Tea and Cookies. It's like a pink. I feel like I don't have one quite like this that I'm keeping, so I'll keep tea and cookies. And last is this one called Life's a Beach. <laughs> I feel like I never even used this one. What is wrong with me? This one's more of a bright coral. You know, I think I'll keep this one just for the heck of it since I don't have any others like this. And the other six are just regular lip liners from NYX, not that suede formula. This one is called Nutmeg. Let's see what these guys are like. It's a pretty brown. However, I don't think I need it because I'm keeping a lot of other browns, so I'll pass that one along. Ooh, this one's like shiny. It's called Nectar. I don't think I'm gonna like that one. I don't really like that it's shiny. I feel like with a lip liner, I kind of want it to be matte. It's not really something I thought about till right now. This one's called Nude Truffle. Oh, it's another brown. Oh, I don't need this one though. I don't need it. <laughs> this one is called Mauve. It's again, another kind of neutral brown color. I really don't need it. I'm content with the ones I have. This one's called Rose Pale and I just tried to sharpen it, but for some reason it like literally won't sharpen. So I guess I'll just call this one Garbage. And this last one is called, why do I have another Nectar? Why did I have two Nectars? Well, we already know the answer to that because we already swatched that one. Um, so yeah, there's that. I think I got rid of half of them. So I started out with 23. I decluttered 10, leaving me with 13 total. So that's pretty good. I got rid of about half of them, revisited the fact that I had some really old ones. So I'll have some lip liners to play around with and I'll be able to kind of see if I have holes in my collection, if I need anything else, or if I feel pretty satisfied. So yeah, that's about it. Let's zoom out. <laughs>
Hi, hello, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that collection and declutter. We started out with 121 total things. I was able to declutter 59 of them, so now I only have 62 of those products total. So I think we did pretty good in this one. I got rid of about half of those things and I feel pretty satisfied with that. I like knowing exactly like which pencils, which glosses, which lipsticks I have. It was very therapeutic for me to go through them. I just filmed that part of the video like two days ago and I'm just really enjoying having more of a curated collection. I feel really excited to reuse everything and it's just been a good experience. I'd love to know what your favorite glosses, lipsticks, lip pencils are. Leave them all down below. Do we share any of the same favorites? I want to hear your thoughts. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me, I guess leave me another lipstick emoji. And if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with Black Lives Matter. There's a link in my description box that will take you to resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.